In the gym, men would congregate around the weights, while the treadmills, ellipticals, and group training studios were generally reserved for members of the opposite sex. Women stayed away from the weights for fear of getting big and bulky, whereas men were locked into the mindset of bigger, faster, stronger, frequently the result of years of competitive sports participation. Currently, some women are worried that weight training will leave them resembling a female Arnold Schwarzenegger, so they either avoid it altogether or stick with dumbbells so light they barely break a sweat. That's born out of a misunderstanding of muscle physiology, where the belief is that if you lift heavy weights, you'll bulk up, and if you lift lighter weights for more repetitions, you won't. Lifting heavy weights will not make women look like masculine female bodybuilders who train every day and take steroids. The bulking up that actually happens to most women is when they build muscle, but don't lose the body fat surrounding it. Everyone wants to be toned, but what most people don't realize is that tone is actually muscle that's only covered with a modest amount of fat. For the most part, the basic concepts of training for fat loss will be the same for both men and women. Both need to put less emphasis on cardio and instead prioritize weightlifting on a regular basis and progressively getting stronger in the gym. This will not only aid in the fat loss process, but will also prevent you from simply ending up skinny fat rather than well-defined or toned with adequate muscle loss after all your weight loss and hard work. So focus on the weights and simply use cardio to speed up the process as needed. So just how do men and women differ when it comes to exercise? Well, let's start with hormones. Did you know that on average, women produce 10 to 40 times less testosterone than men? The average female does not produce enough testosterone to get big and bulky, even if she was training with the heaviest weight possible. Delving deeper into the gender-specific concerns of getting big and bulky from weight training, aside from lower levels of testosterone, women also have lower concentrations of androgenic receptors for this hormone. As men have the advantage in building larger muscles due to higher levels of testosterone, women may be more adept at tolerating lactic acid and producing more growth hormone in response to certain types of training. It has been shown that women can recover faster from and during workouts than men. Possible rationale includes lower or better tolerance of blood lactate as well as less depletion of energy substrates due to their higher estrogen levels. Women also respond differently to sprint training than their male counterparts. A study from 1996 found that women who performed sprint training had greater gains in lean muscle tissue than the male subjects performing the same sprint workouts. In research from 2008, it was found that women had a greater growth hormone and insulin response to sprint training. The researchers concluded that these hormonal differences are key factors in the lean muscle gains seen in women who sprint train. Understanding that women have a greater growth hormone response to training while men have a greater testosterone response may aid in individual selection of training methodologies. For women looking for leanness, higher repetition weight training combined with minimal rest will spike lactate levels, which in turn increases the growth hormone response. For men looking to increase strength and add lean muscle, Heavier weights, less repetitions, and longer rest intervals may elicit a positive testosterone response. This increase in testosterone provides an optimal environment for muscle protein synthesis and the associated gains in lean muscle tissue. Another gender difference is that of thermoregulation, or the regulation of body temperature. A 2001 research paper from the medical journal Current Opinions in Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Care found that during heat exposure, sweating in women is generally more delayed and less intensive than in men. In other words, women not only sweat less than men, but they also start sweating at higher core body temperatures than men. This is important information with regards to hydration and maintaining electrolyte balance in high temperature training environments. Perhaps this helps to explain why there is typically a 25 to 1 ratio of women to men at Sunday morning hot yoga. When you get older, male and female muscle differences start to appear. Getting old, in general, means less muscle mass. You don't build as much muscle when you eat protein like you did when you were younger. Men are at an advantage here as this process happens faster for women. 
However, basal muscle protein synthesis rates in elderly females are higher than those in age-matched males. In other words, older women build more muscle tissue 24-7 than older men do. That is likely because males have been exposed to high testosterone levels their entire life. Testosterone might be anabolic per se, but a lifetime of male testosterone levels diminish the anabolic sensitivity to the hormone. Despite the higher basal muscle protein synthesis rates in women, females lose significantly more muscle mass than males during the aging process. And several factors influence this difference. An increased rate of muscle protein breakdown, gene expressions that counteract muscle growth following menopause, a diminished anabolic response to both a protein-rich meal and strength training sessions post-menopause. So whether from Venus or Mars, man or woman, one thing is certain. Exercise and physical activity can have tremendous benefits on our hormonal balance, body composition, mental status, and above all, our overall health. Enjoy, work, and succeed.